Welcome to Origin, a data analysis and graphing software used by scientists and engineers all over the world. This is a short, introductory video to help you get started. This is the Origin workspace. There are many options up here and easy to access toolbar buttons around the workspace. Project Explorer helps you organize your project in folder structures and makes it easy for you to navigate to different windows. Let's first talk about the window types Origin supports. The first window is the workbook. It is the main data and analysis results container. It supports multiple sheets like Excel and has column designations such as X, Y, Z, and Y error. Column label rows can be used to contain metadata. Sparklines give a preview of data in each column before plotting. Navigating to the File Import menu shows that Origin supports importing ASCII, Binary, Excel, CSV, and many third-party data imports. You can also use the Column and Worksheet menus to manipulate the data by performing functions such as Filter and Reduce, for example. The second most important window type is the Graph window. Origin supports 2D and 3D graphs. 2D graphs can contain multiple layers, and each layer can have multiple plots. The layer number shows on the upper left corner of the graph window. With over 100 built-in graph templates in Origin, you can choose one from the plot menu or click a graph button to plot publication quality graphs. The third window type is the matrix window for 3D data or images. You can plot 3D and contour graphs from matrix windows. Origin also supports 3D data, XYZ columns and worksheets or in virtual matrices. Most analysis results are output to worksheets. You can also insert graphs and analysis results to a worksheet to create a customized report. Let's now explore plotting graphs in Origin. Since columns and workbooks already have column designations, highlight the Y and Y error columns. Click on a graph button to plot the graph. Origin will automatically assign column A as X. With the graph window active, you can change the plot type by clicking another plot type button. Click on the plot to select it and then use the style toolbar to customize it. Double clicking will open the plot details dialog with more options for customizing. The left panel shows the data plot that you are working on. To select one single point, hold down Ctrl and double click the point. The left panel will indicate you selected the 26th point of the plot. Let's quickly customize the shape, color and size and turn on the label of this single point to emphasize the peak of the curve. Customizing axes is easy. Double click the axis or tick labels to open the axis dialog. To plot multiple curves simultaneously, highlight the corresponding Y columns and select a graphing button. Double click on one to open the plot details dialog. The curves are plotted as a group and the color is incremented so that each line has a different color. Set the line type to by one to increment that as well. Each line will now have a different line type. Plotting 3D graphs is the same as plotting 2D graphs. Activate the matrix window or select the XYZ columns and choose the 3D plot type button. Origin supports OpenGL based 3D graphs. To customize, double click the axis or plot to open the axis and plot details dialogs. Hold down the R key to rotate the graph to view from all sides. You can add directional lighting using this button. For color map surfaces, Origin has built-in color palettes as well as user-defined ones. Besides using column designations to plot graphs, Origin has a plot setup dialog with full control on plotting the graphs. Make sure nothing is selected in the workbooks and select a plot type button to bring up the dialog. You can set which column will be used as X and Y regardless of column designations. If the graph is already made, you can also right-click the plot and use the Change X and Change Y contacts menus to change the XY data. Adding more plots to an existing graph is easy. Just highlight the data you're going to add. Mouse the cursor over the edge of the column till this icon appears, and then drag the column onto the graph. To remove a plot, right-click on it and choose Remove from the context menu. The legend does not 
reflect the change, so right click on it and choose Reconstruct Legend. By default, the comments column has been used in the legend. To change this, right click on it again and choose Update Legend. Then use the other column information. For example, the curves are made up from different sheets. We can change the legend to show a sheet name. All the plots are independent and all are black so it is difficult to see the corresponding sheet. We can change this by grouping them. Double click the layer 1 icon to open the layer contents dialog. The right panel shows all the available data. Highlight both the curves and select group. The curve colors are now incremented. Origin also supports creating plots from different worksheets. Again, with nothing selected, click a plot type button to open the plot setup dialog. On the top panel, select worksheets and folder under available data. Highlight all the worksheets and then select the data for X and Y. We want to read the coordinates of the blue peak. Select the rescale button or use the Z hotkey to rescale and pan. To rescale in the Y direction, hold down the shift key. Use the pointer button to exit the rescale mode and click on the data reader button. Position it over the peak, click, and the coordinates will appear in this window. Use the rescale to show all button to return to the original scale. As mentioned before, 2D graphs support multiple layers. Use these buttons to add or manipulate layers in the graph. Let's add an inset graph that is a miniature of the parent graph. It is on its own layer that we can reposition and rescale the same way as with the parent layer. We can also customize it the same way. Press down the Z key and use the cursor and mouse wheel to zoom and pan to the relevant part. With the graph window active, you can make use of the many helpful tools on either side of the origin workspace for customization or for functions such as zoom and pan. For example, the new text tool adds text anywhere on the graph. Almost all components and graphs are customizable. Right click or double click to see available options. If you have data organized in the same structure in each worksheet or workbook, it's very easy to do batch plotting. For example, here graph 1P shows the data from the trial 3 worksheet. Trial 1 and trial 2 have similar data structures. To use this data to create graphs with the same settings as Graph 1P, right-click the title and choose Duplicate Batch Plotting, Duplicate with New Sheets box. This box will show all the worksheets with the same data structure as Trial 3. Select 1 and 2 and click OK. Two graphs are created similar to Graph 1P but showing the data in Trial 1 and Trial 2 worksheets. Besides built-in graph templates, you can save your own graph template. Here we wish to save the stacked column template. Right-click the graph window and choose Save Template As. Choose a memorable name and add a description to help you remember what the template is of for future use. Then highlight the columns containing the data from a new worksheet and go to Plot, User Divine, Template Name. You can also copy and paste some formatting from a graph without saving. Here we have a graph with multiple axis breaks which we would like to apply to another graph. Right click on the graph and choose copy format, scale. Then right click on the second graph and choose paste format. You can also go to edit, paste format to paste it to multiple graphs. You can perform many different types of analysis in origin such as fitting, statistics, signal processing and peak analysis to name a few. Most can be found under the analysis and statistics menus. Let's select column B and do a linear fit on it. Go to analysis, fitting, linear fit and open a new dialog. Most origin analysis tools have this tree-like structure and you can expand to customize. Accept the default settings and click OK. The analysis results will be added to a new worksheet in the same workbook as the source data. There are fitting results, statistics results, and a fitted curve graph in the result. You can double-click the graphs to enlarge and customize them. Right-click on a table to change the digits. 
here we set the decimal places to 2. You can also copy the table or create a copy in a new sheet. Recalculation is supported as indicated by the green lock here. If you change the source data, returning to the results will show the lock has become yellow and opened. This indicates there is a pending operation. Click the lock to open up the context menu. You can change the recalculate mode to auto so it will always recalculate automatically. Or you can manually click recalculate to update the fitting. To change fitting parameters, click on the lock again and select change parameters. Here we want to set the intercept at zero. Click the arrow button and choose save as to save the dialog setting as a themed file and use it in the future. Let's call it intercept at zero. Let's now apply our save theme to column C. Highlight it. Go to analysis. Fitting. Linear fit and choose the saved name. Without the dialog box opening, the analysis will be done and the results sheet will open up. For plotted data in graphs, besides the analysis menu, we also have the gadget tools to do interactive analysis in regions of interest. Let's use the Quick Peaks gadget to find peaks. A yellow rectangle is added to the graph. Resize and move it and the peaks found will show in the graph. Click the arrow button and choose New Output to see the results in a worksheet. Exit the gadget here. If not using gadget tools, you can also use the data selector tool to select a subrange of the plot to perform an analysis on. Let's do a nonlinear curve fit from under the analysis menu. There are many built-in fitting functions, and you can also define your own fitting functions. Let's select Gauss. You can see the formula and sample curves from the tabs here. You can use this button to do one iteration for a step-by-step -step fit or this button to fit till converged. As before, the results sheet is added to a new worksheet. Right-click the workbook title to save the workbook as an analysis template and import new data into the source data worksheet and update the results. From under File, you can also perform batch processing with the analysis template using this option. Right-click on a graph to copy, print, or export it. You can copy graphs to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Once copied, you can double-click there to launch Origin again to do further customization. You can also go to File to export graphs. To create a PowerPoint, use the Send Graphs to PowerPoint button. Each graph will appear on its own slide. You can also create a slideshow within Origin. There are many resources for new users. For example, every dialog box is equipped with a help button up here. You can also use F1 for the corresponding help option. The help menu here has online help, offline help, sample projects, and ways to contact our technical support team, which include an online forum, chat, phone calls, and emails. Use this tab here for quick help. Type in a keyword such as legend and the appropriate how-tos will appear. This concludes our introductory video. Thank you for watching. We hope you found it helpful. For more detailed videos, visit us at our website.